dolphin, aka mahi mahi, are my favorite fish on earth to catch. And I'm going to show you the fly that I use to throw at them in the Florida Keys. Let's go. So here are the very simple elements that you're going to need to tie this dolphin fly. Chartreuse craft fur, little gold flashaboo, blue yak hair, chartreuse EP brush, red dumbbell eyes, and head cement. Pretty simple. Let's go. Now I already have my thread dam started. And I have on here a gamakatsu hook. And I'm going to start this with some yak hair. I'm going to pull out a good bunch of this material. I'm going to fold it over on itself so that it gets thick, like this. Remember, we're going to end up trimming this, so. So as you can see, I already have the thread dam started, and this is on a gamakatsu hook. And we're going to first start with the eyes, doing our X wraps. See how we make these little exits, just like Bob Ross when he paints. These little exits, just these kind of crisscross wraps. Some of this yak hair. Just gently lay your thread over it. Tie that in. Just like that. And make sure you're behind it to prevent tangles. This may look like it's very long, but that's okay because we're going to trim it anyway. like that. Just like our friend the peacock bass, these guys eat each other. So we're going to make sure that we tie something that kind of resembles a baby dolphin. Take a little bit of our flashaboo here. Cut it. What you're going to do is kind of fold it over like this. Place that there and gently lay your thread over it. Tie that in. Just remember, we're cutting all of this. This is long now, but this is going to get cut. There we go. Just like that. Now, craft fur. Let's pull out a nice long, long strip like that. Lay that on top, gently lay your thread on it. There we go. 
go. Cut this. Don't forget to do some wraps behind it. Okay, now let's add a little bit more flashaboo. Remember, when you have a school of dolphin behind the boat, you get fired up when you hook one. So, put some flash in the water, something to get them excited. They'll eat almost anything. So, a little flash in there always helps. So, we can add in that gold flash, go around, around again, and let's trim this out. Okay, looking good. Now, what I'm gonna do next is go back to our yak hair. Add just a little more of this, this yak hair here. Some of that out. We're gonna tie that in here. That cut it. Now we're going to add a bunch more chartreuse to this. Something just like this. In fact, I don't think that's quite enough. We're gonna add some extra chartreuse just to be safe. Now, if you guys remember the peacock bass video, this is where we, we begin to build our body. And for that, we're going to be using this EP brush. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it has this metal end here that we're gonna tie in to our fly. So you're gonna lay that over top of your eyes and just tie that on. Then, once we have this secured to the top of our fly, What we're going to do is we're going to begin twisting this material onto our fly. First, we're gonna move our thread to the front. We're gonna twist this material onto the fly and you're gonna make sure you keep pulling it back so that you get a nice slim bait fish style profile. We're gonna keep adding it to build out that body. Be afraid to turn it, manipulate this freely. Keep 
pulling this back. I don't want to add too many wraps. You want to give this a nice built out, built out body. Just, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take your, your thread, bring it around here. You're going to cut off, so to speak, your EP brush. Like so. And you're going to actually take your scissors, cut through that metal. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to finish this fly up. Um, you should not cut your thread off when you're trying to cut your EP brush. Uh, so I have reattached my thread. We're going to finish this fly. Use your tweezers to kind of pull out and expand the body of this EP brush here. So you really want that body to be built out and it'll flatten out nicely in the water, like so. Go. And now we're going to get to trimming this monstrosity. Because it is entirely too long at this moment in time. And don't forget the head. Trim the head a little bit. Be afraid to turn it to manipulate it. Just to take a little bit more off here. That's, oh, geez. That's pretty close to being a done fly. Now most people would finish this with a whip finish, but I don't know how to use a whip finish properly, so I use my fingers. Make three loops around with your fingers, and pull it tight on the nose. Three. There we go. I'm just gonna put a little more, bit more head cement on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry, and uh, yeah, you get a school of dolphin behind the boat, and uh, we'll crush that thing. So. Stay tuned for more fly tying videos. I think you guys are going to like what's coming.